大家好，我是四天锅。I'm in Guangzhou, a city here in China regarded as a foodie's paradise, and I've come here today to try one of the country's most unique types of hot pots. And I'll be doing that here at Da Sha Di Food Street here in Guangzhou's Huangpu District. There are lots of restaurants selling food all along the street here, so let's go eat. This. It's not hot pot, obviously. And the last time I came to Guangzhou's Huangpu District, I went to Shunjingshu and ate the most authentic Shunjingshu or deep well roasted goose. It was fabulous. Now Guangdong's roast goose is so good, I couldn't come to Guangdong Province and not eat it. So before I go and eat one of the most unique hot pots in China, I've come to Hongyi Shaola, and I'm just going to have a few bites. Just a few bites. Mm. Oh, I've missed that so much. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. Just a few bites, and uh, once I've eaten this, we're going to go have some hot pot. And this is the place that I'm looking for. This place is Jiangzi Nanggang Yu Dao Huo Guo, a place where locals here in Guangzhou's Huangpu District come to eat yu guo or fish hot pot. Now that sounds quite simple, but it's not. Every part of the fish gets used to make the dishes that go into this hot pot. Now I'm quite excited because number one, I haven't had it before. Number two, quite hungry. I haven't eaten that much today. Every dish that you can see here is made from fish, specifically lingyu, a type of freshwater fish. And then we've got Oh, Xin Tang, basically a very light soup. There are so many dishes here. I'm going to eat them, and as I eat them, I'll tell you what they are. Deal? Deal. Let's begin. So many, I don't really know what to start with. I don't know what the correct order is, so I'm sorry if I mess this up, but I'm going to start with Yu Bao. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yu Bao looks a little bit like Wendun, wontons. It's not. The skin is actually fish meat. It reminds me a little bit of rou yen, which is a kind of meat breakfast dumpling where the skin is also made of meat, but this is the fish version. Now everything can be dipped in this sauce here, which is ginger. Oh wait, so put a little bit of ginger in there. Add some jiang yu or some soy sauce. And then if any of these dishes have xing mara, you dip it in this sauce and then you won't have that fishy taste. So the yu bao is ready. I hope it's been about three minutes. It's a bit slippery. So you can see the skin's so thin. I'm gonna just eat the skin and see if I can taste that it's made of fish. Not really, to be honest. Wow, it really is a lot like Huan Dun. Got a very, very light flavor. No fishy flavor whatsoever. None of that negative fishy flavor. It's quite um, bouncy in my mouth, but that's not really the right word. Kuta is the word in Chinese. This is yuhua, it's fish meat that's been whipped up into a paste and I think they've added onion. My understanding is this is rather like fish balls, it's the same kind of paste that fish balls is made from, but just presented in a different way. And then after about three minutes, you're left with some lovely chunks of, ooh, very soft fish. And inside there's only coriander and spring onion, I believe. Let's try one without dipping it first. The flavour of the xiangzhong comes through quite a lot, almost overpowers the fish meat to be honest. Let's dip it. This is more about textures in my mouth. It goes down very, very easily. So far, I'm a big fan of the yu hua. It doesn't look too appetizing like this, but it tastes delicious. It tastes absolutely delicious. Definitely yu hua. Onto the fish balls. Yu dan shui yu rou. Pure fish meat. I think these yu dan are one of the main dishes of the fish hot pot because this whole place is called Jiangji Nang Nang Yu Dan Huo Guo. So I'm very much looking forward to these. You can see them slowly turning beautiful white colour. Oh, lovely. Let's taste one of these. Oh, look at that. So smooth. So springy. Look at that. Purely fish meat. Nothing else added to that just bouncing around inside my mouth. I quite like eating Chao Shan Yu Rou Lan, which are known for being bouncy. You could literally bounce them off the table. These are bouncier, if you can believe that. Mm. Certainly tastes bloody good. There is a saying here, Yu Guo Hao Chi, Wu Hui Zhang Pang. So you can't get fat eating Yu Guo. I don't know if I believe that. I'd like to believe it, seeing as I've ordered this much, but I don't care anyway, because it tastes so bloody delicious. 
Next we're going to eat this Yuho, which is the swim bladder of the Lingyu, the freshwater fish. This takes about 10 seconds, but you need to cover the hot pot. You'll find out why. Let's put a couple in and we'll see. You hear that? It exploded. I think that's done now. There we go. There it is. I don't know what this is going to taste like, to be honest. First I'll try it just directly. It's very, very chewy. Now this is the first thing I've had that has a singmo or fishy flavour. This is where you need to dig. Yeah, I don't know if I like it. I like the process of cooking it. Let's do it again. Let me show you what happens when you put it in for a few seconds. It gets very big. I won't do that again. I need to put the top on. Let's put a load in. It's a bit like popcorn. I didn't even know you could really eat the swim bladder of fish. Have you been hiding? Are you hiding? Come here. Okay, so next I'm going to put in yu jiao, traditional fish dumplings, skin made from flour. These take about five minutes. And I'm also going to put in this yu tang, or fish intestines. It doesn't look very nice, to be honest. Hopefully it's going to taste a lot better. Wow, look at that. It's still not, 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 not too excited about this. Hello. Hello. Hi, thank you. And you? So honestly, I'm not really looking forward to eating yu tang, but this one doesn't look very appetizing. I'll try that one. I mean, the positive is there's no bones. Wow, wait. Oh, it's a different kind of flavor. It's super, super soft. It's mushy. To be honest, I don't really like the flavour. Everything else, great. Not a big fan of yu tang. I'll let the cameraman have that. Lovely big dumpling. I'm not worried about eating this. This looks absolutely delicious. Very familiar. Yu jiao, thumbs up. Yu tang. Shall I give yu tang another go? No. No, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Sorry onto yufu or fish tofu. So this looks crispy on the outside, I guess it's soft and buttery on the inside. So the owner just said that the yufu is fried fish, egg and a little bit of starch to make it puff out. No tofu at all, even though this is called yufu. They look just like tofu pal, tofu balls. Not as soft as tofu balls. Ooh, wow, it's got exactly the same consistency though. They're so light. You know what? I can taste the egg. Mm. Really, really fluffy. Wow, everything so different in terms of texture. Especially that. Still thinking about that. But this is so fluffy. So far, this might be my favourite. I didn't think that would be my favourite, but it might be. Mm. So good. Okay, use them here. These fish noodles, they're already cooked, so you only have to put them in for 10 seconds just to heat them up really. And this is the part of the dish that you save until the end, but it's also the part of the dish that stops you from getting fat. Because these replace the carbohydrate that most people would normally have. Normal noodles made from flour. So you can eat as many of these as you want, you won't get fat. Again, I don't know if I believe that, but... Mm. Definitely a different kind of consistency from traditional noodles made from flour. If you don't get fat, I'm all for it. Obviously, this yugo, the fish hot pot, is very different from Sichuan hot pot. This isn't spicy at all, because the best way to get the true flavours of each of this is just to use ting tang. Now, this place is only about five minutes walk from Dajai, the subway station. Totally unique, really tasty. I mean, I like 95% of it. I'm not a big fan of the fish intestine. But what do you think? Would you like to try this? Have you tried it before? Let me know in the comments section. And uh, I'm going to carry on eating all of this. And the cameraman's going to eat the fish intestines.